Good morning and welcome to my blog, Wisdom for Today. I'm so glad that you decided to visit me today. Today I want to talk to you about the courage and the resiliency of the human spirit. It's Mother's Day this Sunday, so I want to talk to you about mothers. I know many of you have been captivated by the images of the people of Ukraine fighting off an army against all odds to protect home and hearth. But I've been especially captivated by the young mothers with toddlers and babies, toting their babies through war zones and rebels, leaving behind their husbands and the fathers of their children to fight the war while they head toward an uncertain future. I think it's always taken a great deal of courage to raise a child. First of all, we know how uncertain this world can be, and we're brought reminders of it every day through the news and through conversations about how unsafe this world can be. Secondly, we may fear our own inadequacies, the times we lose our temper or speak a sharp word across the table at our child. And yet, Christian children are raised every day and turn out to be healthy adults who help change the world for Jesus by the grace of Jesus Christ. One of my favorite mothers is a mother that is found in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 3. Her name is Jacoped. And while you might not recognize the name, you know who she is. She's Moses' mother. Jacoped was given an impossible dilemma. The Pharaoh had demanded that the women, the Jewish women, throw their babies in the Nile Lake because he feared that the, that the Jewish people would rise up and overtake his kingdom. And Jacoped, if she disobeyed the king, she, she could be killed. But if she obeyed the king, she would kill her child. Worse to the situation, by throwing the child in the Nile River, they were symbolically making a sacrifice to the Nile god. And that must have felt complicit to a pagan religion. But Jacoped was an intelligent woman. She really didn't disobey the king's command, you know. Instead of throwing her baby in the River Nile, she put him in the River Nile. But she provided him a basket to shield him from the dangers of the river. Clever woman. If anyone accused her of disobeying the king, she could say, I did throw my baby in the Nile, but I gave him a boat. He was rescued out of the Nile by a princess, an Egyptian princess. Now, we don't know her name in the Bible, but we do know there was a woman by the name of Inhatset Sweet, who became a pharaoh later in life. And she was the only heir of the pharaoh, and that's why she became a woman pharaoh. And we know that she was hated because her graveyard was, um, had graffiti on it and her, the image of her face was scraped off. And many Bible scholars think it Hatset Sweet was the woman who fished Moses out of the Nile. That she did it out of compassion for the child and later she paid the price for it, maybe with her own death. Both these women were courageous and they were strong. You know, we hear a lot on Mother's Days of women who love their kids. And we hear a lot, and we see a lot of pictures of women sitting in a serene position, um, singing a lullaby. And isn't it wonderful that we have those moments with children? But being a mother also means making sure that shoes are put on the right feet, making sure that beds are made, and losing your temper now and then to make sure that they understand that you're the boss because you're mom. But in all those situations, they demand courage, even letting the child go away one day. And the basket you may have woven for your child, you may feel is very thin before you put him in the river of Nile. But let me assure you that with the grace of God, that basket is enough. All we can do in the end is give our children and our friends and our loved one baskets and trust God with the rest. As we go forward into this celebration of Mother's Day and this worship service, let's remember that the great God himself, the rock who begat us, is the true mother of all of us. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. 
God's blessings and have a great day.